Hello and welcome to another video on how to navigate the world of VMware. My name is Alex and today I will be showing you how to install vSphere Update Manager and how to download and install patches from VMware for your different ESXi hosts using multiple different methods. I will then show you how to create a patch baseline, how to scan through the updates for patches that your ESXi hosts are required to stay safe and secure. For this you will need a VMware client a vCenter server, at least one ESXi host, and a patch bundle from VMware. First we need to log into the vCenter server and install the update manager. We do this by putting in the vCenter server ISO and installing the update manager from the installer on the ISO. We are going to deselect and download updates from the default sources immediately after installation so you can install the updates yourself. One thing you might find slightly unusual is that unlike other VMware products, this installer doesn't accept your current credentials to log in and you will need to type in your fully qualified domain name before your admin username. I recommend you keep your standard port groups as it will make the system easier to use in the near future. This machine only has 40GB allocated to it, but here it will warn you if the hard drive on the vCenter server is less than 120GB. Now that the install is complete, we log into the vCenter server and click on Plugins and then Manage Plugins. Click on the Download and Install link and let it finish. After the install is complete, we can now see a new icon in the home directory that says Update Manager. After selecting the Update Manager, we can now configure it using the Configuration tab. We now select the Download Settings link to select how we will download the patches. You can import and upload patches in three different ways. Manually through the internet, by using a shared website repository, or using an offline bundle. The website repository is just a website URL that points to a web location for patches and can be handy for businesses spread out over a large geographic area. The manual update is as simple as clicking direct connection to internet and clicking download if you have an internet connection. To upload a patch bundle is a little more tricky as we have to find the bundle first. We have to go to the VMware website and find a list of all patch bundles available which isn't the easiest task to do due to a rather awkward website layout. You can find the link below in the description of this video to save you some time. Once you have the zip file, you can then upload them. Note that uploading them doesn't install them, it just makes them available for use by the server update manager. After a rather lengthy upload, you will then see all the patches that are now available to you. To use them, we need to make a baseline first which is what the Upload Manager uses to compare what patches the ESXi hosts already have and what the Update Manager can upgrade them to. To create a baseline, we click on the ESXi host cluster and select the Baseline and Groups tab. We select Create under the Baseline panel. You will need to give it a name. We want to keep this point in time without it changing every time we update, so we now select Fixed. We now select all of our patches and move them down into the bottom panel. We now go into Compliance View and then go into the Update Manager tab. We then attach the ESXi hosts we want to update. After this is complete, we can click Scan and the vCenter server will look at all the available patches and compare them to the ones installed on the ESXi machine, pointing out all the ones that haven't been installed. It will do this by stating that the ESXi hosts are not compliant. For the non-compliant ESXi hosts, I recommend that you do a snapshot of them because if the patches fail to install, you don't have the option to roll them back to a previous state as part of the patching process. 
Before continuing, make sure you disable high availability and enable distributed resource scheduler in fully automated mode. We can now stage the updates to install one by one, getting the update manager to work its way through the patching of each of the ESX high hosts until all of the hosts are all updated with the latest patches you've just selected. We do this by selecting the update manager tab again in the host cluster, then selecting stage. We select the baseline we set up earlier. Lastly, we need to set up remediation. Using the baseline we just inserted into the staging system, we can do the updates by clicking on remediation and selecting disable and remove media devices connected to the virtual machines on this host and deselect Disable Distributed Management System. The Update Manager will now put each ESXi host into maintenance mode. If the cluster has failover or high availability set up, then the VMs will vMotion over to another ESXi host and the process will fail. If not, the process will shut down the VMs on that host and then patch the ESXi host. As the ESXi host is being patched, it is not uncommon for the heartbeat signal to stop and the ESXi host to appear as if it is no longer responding. But don't panic, it will sort itself out soon enough. As you can now see, the ESXi hosts are now all compliant with your baseline. And that's it! Thank you for watching and I hope this educational video has been helpful to you.